Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me directly for pricing, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 2018 that represents the heart and soul of the manufacturer Zenith of Le Loc, Switzerland. This is the Dayfi Classic Skeleton, powered by the Caliber 670 elite automatic movement. In grade five titanium, this watch is 41 millimeters in diameter, 10.8 millimeters thick, and 45.2 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, so it is both very light and well suited to a small wrist. The timepiece is light and airy on my wrist, mostly made of sapphire and titanium. It feels like a second skin. It's also quite thin, so it'll easily slide underneath a dress cuff. And you can see being just over 45 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, this watch could be viable on a wrist as small as 13 and a half, maybe even 13 centimeters circumference. Again, my wrist is 16. I've got so much clearance on both sides, I can't imagine this not being considered a viable unisex option. Now, as you can see, the bracelet is nicely made, integrated into the case. The case is actually drawn from the Zenith Dayfi sports watches of the late 60s through mid 70s. So while the look of the watch may be reminiscent of sister brands, Tag Heuer and Hublot. The shape is very much Zenith from its historic periods. You can see the bracelet tapers as it moves away from the lugs. It is integrated Gerald Genta style into the lug profile. It's grade five titanium, which means it's both lighter than steel and harder than steel. And since it's grade five, it can be polished. The grade two stuff really can't. Uh, you have fastening of the links. You have polishing and beveling of the edge of the links. You can see the interior of the intermediate links polished. A nice light show reflecting in the soft illumination of my light box. And then you can see, as with most high-grade watches, we have removable links fixed by screws and many removable links so you will get a precise size. We have a double folding clasp and twin trigger release so it's going to stay resolutely shut. Though the watch is made of titanium, you can see that the clasp is made of steel for sturdiness and durability in the long run. Now rolling back to the case, you can see it's actually a combination of polished and satinated facets. It's very angular though there is a curvature to the bezel as well as a curvature to the case flank so there's some complexity here. The crown features on a flat platform jutting out with a shallow knurling and the Zenith Star logo outboard. And then we have a little bit of a recess from the bevel of the case band to the bezel itself. You can see the bezel features fastening and polishing on its side and then vertical satination on its top matching the satination that runs across the lug hoods. The dial is an open skeleton dial and you can see it's got a blue Ray Hot outboard and blue metallic. We have stainless steel rhodium plated applique indices. The watch is illumined. We'll do a loom shot right now. And you can see this is a true sports watch. Automatic winding, highly water resistant. As you can see, it is water resistant down to 100 meters. Automatic, loomed, water resistant, full bracelet. It doesn't get any better than that. The dial is handsomely executed. Unlike many skeletons, it's not hard to read. And due to the presence of the movement below the dial, you don't see your wrist hair through the dial. You can also see that there's a little bit of a cantilever to the indices and that the center features a nickel anthracite coating uh, polished beveling on the edges of the central components that splay out like an automobile wheels spoke. And then there's satination across the tops of the spokes. Now you can see a lot of the action below. You can see that there is a visible motion works where the adjustment of the hands actually takes place. You have a little bit of a view into the clutch mechanism and the keyless works. Take note that this watch includes both hacking or stop seconds and a bi-directional quick set. So if I wish, I can adjust the date, which is viewed against a light panel at six o'clock. It, it's backlit by that little white panel. I can actually adjust it in either direction, whichever is closer to the date that I desire to obtain. The escapement, which you can see just below the index at 10 o'clock, that is actually unlubricated and made of silicon, which extends the service intervals of the watch and improves timing in between services. The Caliber Elite was originally designed in 1994. It was the first Zenith movement designed with the assistance of computers. It's a automatic winder with a 50 hour power reserve, a four hertz beat rate, bi-directional quick set, and hacking seconds. And as you can see through this case back, it is a good looking movement with a sort of techno industrial nickel anthracite finishing throughout. And you see the Zenith star doubling as the winding mass. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this 50-hour power reserve automatic winding titanium sports watch.